Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Far Red. In the previous episode, we went to Safari Zone. And now I'm going to show you what to do with Gold Teeth. Because we did get those in the last episode. Although, if you like, cut off or whatnot, when I sped through the Safari Zone, I don't blame you. But I have to find that house that you used the gold teeth on. It's somewhere here. I don't think it's that one. That goes to Route 15. Oh yeah, I, are, I don't know if I said this, but I already obliterated my party. I'm the fishing guru. Oh, this is the guy that gives us the good rod. So I took on the Holly Whirl from inside the Safari Zone, but I didn't. I guess I just suck. Uh, oh well. And here he is. This guy. Today, the gold team to the warden, otherwise you'd sound like, Ooh. Thanks, son, you're a real life sick. No one could understand me, I was too ashamed to show my face for you. And then he gives us the strength of his team. Or HM. Basically, to get rid of an HM, you have to go to this one specific person to unlearn moves. I don't know what city they're in, but, you know, whatever. Also, I woke up this morning, and, uh, I was messing with videos and stuff, and I realized that, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold does not have my favorite Pokemon opening in it. Although it's my favorite game, I automatically thought that my favorite opening was in it, but that would be the opening to, uh, not Heart Gold, uh, Pokemon Emerald. I like the opening to Pokemon Emerald because it looked awesome. I like the music to it and stuff. Anyway, I found another rare candy. I'm gonna go ahead and use those for no reason. I mean, I know they don't do much, but... I'll just use them anyway. It raises to the level of Pokemon by one. And I'll use them on Bubbles. I'll just use all of them on Bubbles, really. Okay. Level 35. And level 36. What? Bubbles is evolving. Alright, sweet. Okay, so he's turning into a Blastoise now. Now I know what I'll name this episode. Oh! Well, that's good. I didn't know what level they evolved into, but hey, if I can use rare candy to get him there. So be it. Anyway. Um, what was I going to do? I don't know. But peanut butter covered chewy bars are awesome. Alright, here's my deformed party if I want. It's a teeny scyther and a neaterino. Way different than my other choice of Pokemon. Also, uh, in this episode, we will be going to the gym battle against Koga, so look forward to that. I just need to finish up here. I'm looking at all this. I got some Stardust I can sell. If I'm correct, you're supposed to be able to evolve your teeny with them. It won't have any effect. Alright. I thought you used a Moonstone for some reason. 
Wait, what the hell? What do we use the moonstones on? I'll look that up later. I, I'm, I'm clearly doing something wrong because I've never used those before. No, champ in the making. Fuchsia Gem is a tricked up place. It's riddled with invisible walls. The token might appear to be in the middle, but there's a bunch of walls guarding it. So, you need to get around those walls. Basically, it makes a giant you. Just gonna avoid battles here. There's really no point in battle. Although, he, I think we have to battle. Yeah, can't go behind invisible walls. I was a magician once before coming here. Okay, whatever. What Pokemon do you have for me? Drowsy! Number one. And of course, dark moves are gonna be extra. Which is why I should have put the freaking black glasses on. However, I didn't uh, record the Poke Battle, so I'll just fix that. That's big. Uh, never mind. I need to redo the Poke Battle because it didn't record right. So I'll, I'll just uh, fix that once I get up here. Basically, what it comes it comes to is if I'm recording inside by using my emulator. Uh, if I use it like a save state or something, because I was using a save state so I didn't have to uh, go back to a Pokemon Center, etc. Basically, I use that save state, and the, the emulator itself won't read a recorded save state, so it'll just continue going on as if, you know, I had used the save state. I don't know how that works, but it does. And we got a Hypno here. But, by the look of my party, I probably should go to a Pokemon Center. I mean, really. Half my Pokemon are... Well, two of my Pokemon are dead. They're my best one. Alright. Where my Mike and Shadow? Which do you choose? And here's Kogan. In which we shall battle him here. Their idea makes me sure. Well, very well. Bring despair to the creeping core poison type Pokemon. This first battle I'll probably lose. Just saying because I just realized, or did not just realize, but uh, oh, my main Pokemon are dead. <laughs> what am I thinking here? This should be interesting. Missed. Self-destruct and Bubbles is almost dead. And now we have Muck, and I'm pretty sure his Muck is really hard to attack. Because I don't know why he constantly uses Minimize, but even without the Minimize, half your attacks won't hit it. It's really lame. His Muck, look at it. It's very powerful, especially against other Pokemon. Take care. Use Sludge. Well, get this. So Slifer, it's about to die. My Sludge. Get the muck off me! And now we have Nidorino. I think he's gonna be our only hope because he's a poison type Pokemon as well. So if I just use basic moves, I shouldn't be able to die that. Yeah, it's not very effective. There's one. There's two. It's not very effective, though. Hit twice. Sludge. Not very effective, yet yeah, takes down half my health. I hate that. Moonstones. And yeah, I should probably have used that revive. Just saying. Next revive. 
to Excalibur. Oh, Mug used Slug. It's not very effective. This Mug is very powerful. Especially against other Pokemon. And like I said, half these moves are gonna miss. What the? I don't understand why. But almost all of your attacks miss. And it's really lame, because like, that's why he's gonna be able to take out all my Pokemon. With just luck. Because that coughing didn't do anything, and we all know that. Coughing sucks. Here we gotta continue. One hit KO. I mean, really, that that's just lame. And now I shall head back to Koga. Yes, now I am playing. I'm actually using my keyboard. Uh, I use the base defense. I can use this on levels. Okay, protein, base attack, moves on. Then again, in the next video or so, it will probably pop up again. Because I don't remember using these. But, you guys will understand, right? Base, special attack, the arena, why not? Probably end up using them on different Pokemon in a future episode. Anyway. I'll give these to Excalibur. And, uh. Clear Stone that makes certain species of Pokemon a Pokemon. Hey, I'm gonna look that up real quick. Alright, that's kind of interesting, actually. It's compatible with Clefairy to make it into a Clefable, Jigglypuff into a Wigglytuff. Nidorino into a Nido King, Nidorina into a Nido Queen, Skitty into a Dokai, and Muna into a Musharna. And now that I think of it, I will be able to show you two more evolves right now. Use on Nidorino. It's used on Nidorino. What? Nidorino is evolving! That's interesting. That's why Nino Reno would not level up. Or evolve in the Nino King. This was the whole reason I didn't know. But now I could either show you a Jigglypuff level up or a Nino Reno. Which I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna go fight Koga. <laughs> Okay, take two. Let's go. Yeah, da, 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 da. I'll fight you. Oh, come on. Where am I at? Come on. Fight you. Turn. Turn. Oh, yeah, I had to battle, duh. And here we are at him again. Let's try this again. <laughs> Wah! -ha -ha. A mere child like you dares to challenge me? A very idea makes the very idea makes me shiver with breath. Very well. I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Disparage the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Horrible voice acting, I'm sorry. Okay, Leader Koga sent out coffee. Go, Excalibur! What will Excalibur do? It's intimidate, that's foe. Yeah, whatever. Water pump. 
Why did I just say water pulse when I used pipe? And it used toxic. I should be poisoned. Yeah. That sucks. But I'll be I'll I'll do the smart thing. What? We didn't use a hyper potion last time if I remember right. And now it's gonna use self-destruct. Yes, that's what happened last time. Now it's about to use muck. Yes, I will change Pokemon. I'm going to change the needle game. This is interesting. I've never used the needle game before here. Uh can the strength do anything? Not a lot. It's gonna use freaking uh attack missed. It's not an effective point. That was a critical hit, right on. Good job, Nino King. That okay? I know that wasn't effective. Yeah. Didn't think so. Acid armor. Okay, horn attack did the most. But it keeps missing. That's that's my issue. Horn attack. Strength again. Why not? Let's just get creative. You're starting to annoy me, sir. Okay, I'm gonna use a quick potion on uh, Needle King. Let's see. I don't need you. No, I'll use it on Excalibur. Use Sludge. I'll use the other one on the MK. Use Sludge. And then I will use a Antidote on Excalibur. Fight, one attack. Let's see how far I can get with just one attack. Just keep going. I don't blame you if you die, Nico King. Come on, quit missing. And it was a critical hit. I don't Alright. I don't blame you. Like I said, you're alright. Excalibur can hopefully finish this off. Fight! Just don't die. I swear if you die. Okay, we can't die. Uh. So there. Max Potion. Polar Score, I'll use that. Light, come on, quit that! And he poisoned me again! Really, what is up with you? Really? This is starting to get really annoying. Oh. Fine. Uh. Let's look here. Um, I'm gonna use an next attack. Oh, he's coming. And his poison. Really? Finally! And he leveled up to 39. What now, Buck? And um, he's sending out coffee. Might as well get Bumble sent Why not? He has another Buck. 
I swear. I mean, Mud's probably gonna be my most hated Pokemon now. And then we got a Wheezy. Right. Used Toxic. Really? Just get through this, Bubbles. You'll level up as well. Okay, you're not gonna get through this. You suck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dragon Rage. What now? Fight. And that's it. Defeated Leader Koga. Oof! You have proven your worth. Here, take the Soul Badge. And we gain 400... 4,300 yen, whatever. Pokey points. <laughs> now that you have the Soul Badge, the defense of your Pokemon rights, it also lets you use Surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. Receives TMO 6 from Koga. Sealed within that, TMO6 lies toxic. It is a secret technique dating back some 400 years. <clears throat> Thank you. Anyway, so, most likely, whichever Pokemon is now poisoned will die before I get to a Pokemon Center, but at least we defeated Koga. I mean, that much is better. That is. It's amazing how Ninja can terrify even now. Okay. Let's just get to the Pokemon Center, really. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. I'm Bill Long. Anywho, that should be it for this episode. I will see you all next time, where we will continue on to the Black Typhoon. I really don't feel like going down through that lower path. Although, if you take that path right now, you can go get Arctic Moon. However, I will not. I'm going to go to get the Fly technique. Or HM. Anyway. Hope you like these episodes. Please subscribe if you do. And, uh, I'll see you all later.